The Emergency Department Psychiatric Service is an Oxford Health NHS Foundation Trust team which supplies psychiatric expertise into the emergency departments for Oxford University hospitals. This is a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week service that assesses people who come to the emergency department with acute psychological problems. Most of our work is around self-harm, where someone's taken an overdose or cut and it may be an attempt to end their life. Our team is based at the John Radcliffe Hospital in Oxford, but we also cover the Horton Hospital, which is 27 miles away. And the number of referrals we receive from the Horton isn't quite enough for us to justify having a permanent staff member up there. So this team has to travel up to see any patient who presents there. All that delay and then that instant, ang more anxiety for the patients, that was the carrot to try and see if we could assess patients in a more sort of responsive way and not have them waiting for us to get there. They use it in Australia quite a bit and used extensively in the United States as well. It means there's much less use of outpatient rooms, much more convenient, less people travelling. We knew from the research that the biggest barrier to using telepsychiatry is in fact staff reluctance. My first feeling around it was some reservations if I'm completely honest. My first reaction really was horror because I'm technophobic. You know, one of the big things in psychiatry is building a rapport with the patient, and I thought it might be a barrier to that. I suppose I was a little bit, a little bit unsure how patients would receive it. Initially, we just did some practice and using different rooms and people talking to each other. And then once the video link was up and running at the Horton Hospital, we asked staff who are just seeing patients as normal to discuss their findings with the consultants back at the JR so they could practice using the video link. It just made people feel a bit more comfortable. It was quite nice for seeing actually how I, you know, I would come across to a patient, so I sort of enjoyed that really. The more we talked about it as a team, the more it became the norm, I suppose, in a positive way. We really went live um, in late October 2016, and within the first 12 weeks, we did 44 new assessments at the remote ED. Only 20 returned feedback forms, but of those 20, 90% rated their overall experience as excellent or very good. After a couple of minutes of speaking to the patient and getting used to the system, you were immersed in the patient assessment and I didn't really think about the technology too much. I came away feeling very positive with the outcome. It all worked really, really smoothly, so all my fears were removed. At the beginning, you know, you make it very clear that if at any point the patient wants to stop and have a face-to-face, -face, then you're not taking any options away from them. Patients just want to be seen, have a decision made, be able to get discharged home. Cool. Are you happy with all of that? Yeah, that's okay. Good. You know, obviously there is something about, about how you are relating to a patient and how you're empathising with them and how you're listening to them. You can do that on FaceTime. The fundamentals are still there. It's embedded in our practice. I think we should spread it across the trust seriously. I think it's a fantastic way of, of working with people. Cut down the waiting time for the patient, cut down the distress for the patient. I'm really, really positive about the follow-up sessions. For people that were able to finish work, come home, attend their family, make their dinner and then have a session at 7 o'clock in the evening, actually it was, in, it was incredibly helpful for them to still be able to access that support. I genuinely think it's brilliant. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I'm amazed, amazed at the um, way that patients have engaged with it, the way ED have engaged with it. I am a fan, surprisingly, I am a fan of TAP. I didn't think I'd say that. I'm a very old school nurse could not believe this was going to work. I thought I'd let you trial it and see what happened. Um, but I have to say, for the group of patients we're using it for and for an emergency setting, I think it's been excellent.